Hello everyone, welcome to CAEA. My name is David Finkley and today we're gonna to be talking about the importance of apologetics. Stay tuned, you're gonna hear all about this. Let's get started. Welcome back everyone. Again, my name is David Finkley and today we're gonna to be talking about the importance of apologetics. I love this subject. I love studying uh, uh, apologetics. I actually majored in uh, apologetics and so it's a, a subject very near and dear to my heart. Now, many of you may be wondering or asking what is apologetics? Uh, it's simply a fancy word for defense or to defend. Um, and uh, right there, many of you may say, well, let me just find another video because I don't care anything about that. But I would encourage you to stay tuned. Just, just give me a few minutes, all right? <laughs> because this is a very important subject. We're actually in a very critical point in the world's history, especially in our country here in America. We're in what many people will describe as a post-Christian society or post-Christian world. And what that simply means is that we are, as a society, we're moving further and further away from the fundamentals of Christianity. We're moving away from the convictions and the ideas and the, the concepts of traditional Christianity. And in response to that, it is becoming a very difficult task to convince individuals that they need to be a Christian. So, with that being the case, we as Christians have a very hard task ahead of us. We have to show individuals the importance and the value of Christianity and the, the importance of what we believe by defending what we believe ourselves, all right? And this is something that we are finding most Christians are not prepared to do. Uh, traditionally, we could just basically share our story and whether it was considered to be right or not, it didn't really matter. Um, if it fit the bill for the person who was hearing it, then it was okay. Well, most people today, they're not gonna accept that sort of testimony. And you're gonna have to, have to logically explain and, and demonstrate why your worldview and why your system of believing is more appropriate for an individual in comparison to other systems, all right? So it is very important that we, um, we understand what we believe, why we believe it, and then be able to share that belief to other individuals who may not think the same way we do. Um, I, I remember uh, there was a time when uh, I was a very zealous Christian. I would study, at least I thought I was studying, but I would basically hear what other individuals had believed. I just basically went to church, heard the preacher preach, and whatever the preacher said, that's basically what I believed. Um, well, I found out as I went to school and as I went and had conversations with other people that th there's a totally different world out there. There's a world out there that I've never seen. And the closest I got to it was by reading, all right? Um, so there are people all over the world and all over this country and all over your city and all over your, your, your all in your job who have different experiences and they have different environments in which they were brought up in. And the unique question that all of us now must answer is why should I serve your God? All right, notice how that is framed. What makes your God any different from any other God? What makes your faith any, other, any different from any other faith? What makes your way of believing, your way of, of living any different from any other person? And uh, once we begin to to look at these questions in a very um, a, a rational way, uh, th there are very, very different scenarios that could come uh, from uh, the response that we, we may get. So it's very important. Now, this is just not me saying that you should study apologetics and you should be able to defend your faith. Um, actually, the Bible, it teaches us to do this. In other words, it is the Christian responsibility. Every Christian is supposed to be able to defend what they believe and share why they believe uh, what they believe. I'm gonna read it to you. Peter said this to the church, to the churches that were scattered uh, across the Asia Minor. He said this, he says, but in your hearts regard Christ the Lord as holy. And he says this, 
He says, be ready at any time, no matter where you are, no matter who you're speaking with, at any time to give a defense to anyone who asks you for a reason for the hope that is in you. That is, any time you are talking to someone, any time you're engaging in conversation, any time the opportunity opens itself up, he says we should be able to give, and not only be able, but we should give a defense for the hope that lies within us. That means whenever you imagine what makes up the reason for why you are living the way you're living, you should be able to give at any, in any opportunity, at any opportunity, you should be able in any moment to give an answer to someone, all right? So, so again, this is the Christian responsibility because our motive is not only to be saved, but to help someone else become saved as well through the testimony of Jesus Christ. So listen, brothers and sisters, we have no choice. This is something that we have to do. We have to have to defend what we believe, have to give reasonable answers. And I want to encourage you to join the CAA, uh, EA community and, and let's grow together. That's what this organization is all about. We're uh, interested in finding uh, relevant answers to big questions so that people may understand the absoluteness, the absolute truth that is behind uh, the testimony of Jesus Christ. So we encourage you to study, join us in your studies, and let us help you in any way that we can. Again, thank you for watching. I hope this has been a benefit to you and, help, and has helped you in some way. If you have any questions, be sure to drop your comments in the comment box below or email us at david.finkley uh, at ca-ea.org. Again, visit our website, www.ca-ea.org, to find out more uh, about the study of apologetics, and we'll help you in any way that we can. Again, thank you for watching. Until next time, God bless.